the findings of your report about the outlook for AI contrast with what the industry is calling for right now? Yeah, I know uh, Stuart well. It was great to hear his comments. Uh, we do some work together, and I have a uh, deep respect for uh, for Stuart and his views. And you know, look, I think uh, the open letter on uh, on AI was uh, was I think called important attention to a real issue, which is you know getting serious dialogue around uh, the implications of AI and really responsible AI. You know, I would say that if if, a, if an organization or a company is implementing AI and you don't have a responsible AI policy and approach. It's simply irresponsible. So I think this call to attention around how the impact that technology is having, uh, guarding against bias, uh, ensuring accuracy, looking at intellectual property and all these issues are really important. But I don't think a pause is the, is, the, is the step we need. I think what we need is more transparency and dialogue and more companies to take steps you know, that we've been working on for four or five years, which is actually having training, policies, compliance programs, and the like in our company and in companies that we work with to make sure organizations are taking the right steps with artificial intelligence. You're, you're plugged into hundreds, if not thousands, of tech companies globally. Is a six-month pause feasible? Can anyone actually make that happen? No, I don't think it's the right, you know, the pause is the right way to think about this. There's tremendous innovation and progress happening. And I think, uh, you know, we, there's, uh, I think there's approaches, uh, many approaches in place to look at how we use the technology in the appropriate way. So I think the, the right thing to do is to, keep, is to keep the experimentation, keep the innovation going, but increase the dialogue around, you know, the guardrails that we need to have in place on some of the topics that I mentioned earlier. So that's the approach we advocate. We're working uh you know, with many organizations uh, around the world, including some of the ones you mentioned, on putting the right guardrails in place as we move forward. But we think the innovation and experimentation actually helps contribute to that dialogue. The, the conclusion of your report and your survey is that AI is going to spark a pretty large wave of, of innovation, right? Next generation technologies. How, though? How does that manifest itself? You know, AI really unleashes uh, a kind of a next level of capability for organizations. That's the way to think about it. And uh, we had a, a launch of our annual vision report yesterday. And on the uh, on the, the launch, we heard from everything from a 125 year old company to a 25 year old you know AI startup founder about the implications that it has on business. And 98 percent of executives in the research that we've done. Uh, talk about the, the, the fact that they're going to invest in and believe generative AI in particular will have a big impact on their organization. And the impact that it'll have is allowing organizations to do new things they couldn't do before. It's new, uh, new levels of creative capability powered by uh, the foundation models that you hear about. It's new ways for work to be done, new ways to empower people, and it essentially, it is, in essence, give workers superpowers to do new things and uh, more, you know, expanded things with co-pilot type of capability powered by generative AI. And I think it really creates a great opportunity for individuals to use technology in a different way, right. and for businesses to look at how they, you know, how they make these uh, big advances and how they compete, differentiate, and grow. Paul, let's get someone else's view on where we are in the AI cycle. This is what the Stability AI CEO had to say in the last 24 hours. This is bigger than 5G or self-driving cars. We've had others on the show that say what's happening in artificial intelligence is akin from the shift to mobile, for example. You are a technologist. Do you agree with any of those statements? Yeah, uh, what I've said is, uh, is that I believe... What we're seeing now with foundation models and large language models is one of the three biggest innovations I've seen in my you know, multi-decade career working in technology. The first was uh, when I used uh, one of the first browsers and saw the, the potential and power of the internet. The second was uh, when I saw the, the first iPhone come out and realize the power of bringing that kind of access and technology to billions of people around the world. And then when I dove in uh, with uh, foundation models and large language models and the transformer technology and saw the creative power that it had and the power to allow humans, you know, workers, you know, people to interact with technology at a whole new level. Yes. I think it is yeah. that type of breakthrough. Paul, Accenture, your own company is laying off 19,000 staff across technology, mass layoffs. What is your assessment of the reasons why layoffs are happening? Well, you know, um, we announced, uh, you know, really record growth in our business. We had record sales in the, the results that we just announced. 
you know, 35, you know, has you know, one point 35 deals of over 100 million dollars or more around technology, driven by a lot of what's happening with uh, companies needing to reinvent faster by applying technology. Uh, it's, so we, we see and we see continued robust and strong demand for technology. What we announced was really uh, something we do every year in terms of looking at. Uh, how we're positioned with with talent for the growth that we have going forward, and uh, the only difference this time is we made, we took a proactive step to get fit for what we see coming. But this is you know kind of in the realm of what we do every year, and we think you know the the market going forward, especially with some of these new advances in technology, companies needing this technology to, to operate more resiliently in the complicated world that they operate in, is going to continue to drive that demand.